Hello, everyone. Very soon, my guests will join me. <clears throat> Hello, Guswega. Hello, Marius. Peter. Darcho. Ivan Kozic. Hello, Jeff. Hello, Michael Workspace. Hello to Texas. Hello, Aaron. I can't read your name, but hi to you, X. Frederick. Yeah, 1.4 GHS. Hello, my friend, Juan East Juan. Edward Armasting, James. Hello, my friend. MCA Armasting. Oh, sorry, MS Armasting, sorry. Hello, hello to New Zealand. Mola, Tenix. Peparim, hello. Gusi. Wayne, hello. Sabik, alaikum salam, samad al-shirk. Whole strain, great, great stuff again. Cannot wait for the podcast, me neither. Uh, um, two different personalities. Sebastian, hello. Arifan, hello. Hello, my friends. Mexico rules. How much is the paper? We saw I haven't rented one yet. It will be rented. It's $19.99, so basically $20. Hello, Guswega. Arm fellas, hello, hello, my friends. No, I didn't beat John, no. We were not, we never been in the same category. Um, KC, where's the monster is back? Yes, my friends. James, just about paper view. I'm hundred percent sure you will enjoy, my friends. Um, hello, I know that they on top, but I can't read your name. It is different alphabet. Okay, gastro. No gast. Sorry. Hello, my friends. Guli Jimenez. Hello to Argentina. Nicola. Nicola. Thank you, my friend. Hello, hello to Uruguay. Can't wait for the man. Me neither. It will be a great match. Gio. Uh, it's not possible to choose the seeds, my friends. It's not possible. John Brzezinski is the god. John says, I agree with you, my friends. Melazi Armasting, hello again, how are you, my friends? I'm okay, Melazi, how are you? Atlas, hello, hello, Atlas. Atlantis, RL, RL, what's up? Peter, I ask because I saw one match with you and John, I thought you bought more. I mean, no, I mean, Jeff, thank you, very grateful. Thank you, my friend, I also... I'm grateful for your sports and sports. <clears throat> Davide, Engin, this is the best event so far. I agree, my friends. This will be the best event that I have ever seen. Okay, very soon my guest will come. Just give me one second. I'm coming. Seconds. 
Sì, di qua. Che camera è tutta la foto di stile, subito. Sì, che te la foto con l'audio, che credo che capisci tutti dei libri. Hello guys. Nice place. Hello French. Can you hear us? Yeah, I hear you. Perfect. Yeah. You have a lot of fans today. <laughs> Where are you guys? In the gym? Oh yeah, gym club it says, yeah. <laughs> We are in the gym where Frank trains and is the owner. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Okay, we are waiting for Michael to join but he has five minutes. So Do you like yes. the shape of Frank? Does he look big? Does he looks big? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, me? yeah. He looks big. Yeah, yeah. Especially, yeah, the arms, everything. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh look, yeah. Look. Angie, look. I think five side. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what 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 is his weight? Quanto pesi? Cento quindici. It now is 115 precisely. 115. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was 117, like before, because it was his birthday. So he put a little fat before, but now it's 115 on the dot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, but he, he looks, his shoulders, everything, he looks incredible. Oh, yeah. 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 He, he, look, he, looks, he looks thick, you know. He's training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. I can see that. But he has always been a great arm master. I mean, he has always been a great top roller. And it is great to see him in our events. Thank you. So let's... Talk a little. Did he compete anywhere since his last super match? Are you possibly to have a little bit match? No, no, no. No, he didn't compete no? anywhere. No, no. Mi sono, mi sono fermato perché avevo problemi a, alla spalla sinistra e adesso sto, sto yeah. bene anche con il sinistro. Yeah, so oh, uh, problems on the left shoulder, so he stopped a bit, but now he's healed 100% even on the left arm. Okay. <laughs> Michael came. Hello, Michael. Hello, we need him to be 100%. Let's go like 85%. <laughs> Hi, Michael. Okay, Michael, is your connection a little bit or is it something about my connection? I don't know. I should have good connection. I should have full signal. I don't know. How What, do you guys see on? Michael? Do you guys see Michael a little bit freezing or not? Uh, a bit bad. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let me yeah. let me go switch. Let me go switch to something else. Hang on. Okay, we let me switch. Hmm. It should be good. It, it may be where you are, your location, maybe. Maybe if you move yeah. somewhere else. Yeah. Now now seems okay. Anywhere now looks. Yeah, looks better. Looks better. Uh, Signal's bad out there, so I got to do it in here. Okay. Signal's bad out there. I was cutting out, so I got to do it in here. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, we're about to go. Okay. I'll cancel. I'll just If possible, keep the phone sideways so you can have more. Yeah, I'm trying to. Yeah, I'm trying to. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Hey. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. So we are ready to start. Michael, your opponent says that he is 115 kilo. He was 117 because of his birthday. He was not a good boy. He ate a lot. And now, but he's now 115. How about you? I bet okay, you so are that's the... 265, maybe. Well, that's a funny story because Friday morning, 
I was uh one fifteen point three. Yeah, so uh -huh. I was two fifty four point four. And then yesterday morning, I was two sixty nine point four. So I gained fifteen pounds. So are you doing this for like experiments? You know, like just no, I just I, I it was Easter, so I cheated. Oh, uh, okay. I had a cheat day for Easter, and I gave a bunch of birthday that. cake and pizza. Oh, uh, so are you gonna come to Istanbul on your weight, or you are planning to do some other cuts? Talk to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you are you planning to come to Istanbul at like wait 115 or you plan to just one week before last day or something? You plan to do water cuts. Well, I, I hope to get back. I mean, I hope by Sunday I'll be back to 115, you know, um, like real mm. close to 115, 116, something like that. Because I want to be able to eat on the flight over, you know, because I fly on Tuesday, I arrive on Wednesday, we don't weigh in till Friday, you know, so Hopefully my wage is much closer, and then I just cut cut off my food and water Thursday night, you know, and then just make weight the next day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I understand. Please add wrist size and playing style like hook, topple, with biceps, forearms, also with the cards of players on videos of the matches. Okay, I will consider, but I can't promise. And and so looks like you. Neither of you have any any weight problems, and so how how are the trainings? What happened after after Paulo match? Since Paulo match, what has been happening, Michael? Uh, very good training. Um, everything's been going up. I took some of your advice with the cupping exercises, and um, I mean I'm as good as I can be for this match. So I've done everything I can do. Healthy. I have no excuses. Arm feels yeah. good. So. Uh, one second, Ma Martino. When you translate, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, 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 yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, because I cannot un really understand. Yeah, well, you said that everything is okay, Michael, and yeah, yeah, arm feels good. Um, are you are you for sure in better shape, right? You are better shape than better, oh, that better than when I pulled Pablo. Yeah, probably probably yeah. five percent stronger than when yeah. I pulled Pablo. But on a couple of lifts, quite a bit more than that because um, I've got a new video I'm going to upload. I don't know tomorrow or something. It's my heaviest ever Devon pronation lift. So I was pretty pleased with it. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so the, the, that is one of them the, 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 with more than 5% increase. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I was, I was not successful at it when Pablo was here. And uh, so it's, I don't know, man. I feel good. Frank's a great arm wrestler. I'm excited to arm mm -hmm. wrestling. Um, I was very impressed with his performance against Matt, which is why I asked you to pull him. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I, I'm I'm excited for a good match. My, Michael, you and him, you had a super match 16 years ago, or maybe 15 and a half years ago. Uh, you were a different type of puller then. You were more right. into the table, while you are more like open arm top roll. Um, did did Michael? Uh, sorry, did Frank surprise you when you come to Italy? Did you like? expect it to be easier for you because it, it became a nightmare for both of you you know right no, i knew he had a great top row um he i'd seen him at the uh at the waf worlds like two months before or something like that mm -hmm. and i think he did real well in the 100 kg class i mean he just he posts so hard you know he, he he's tall but he gets down so high with that post pressure and i mm -hmm. tried to match him with with a top row and it didn't work i got my hand cracked so then I, after a couple of rounds, I thought I got to dive in on the press and just hold on for dear life. So that's what happened. <laughs> uh -huh. And, and uh, at that time, your style, as I said, you know, was different. And today is different style. Do you think that your style of today will do better against Frank than that time? I'm certainly hoping so. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah. <laughs> it needs to do better because that was a bad, that was a hard match. Yeah, 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 I understand. But but stylistically, that would be better for you to do open on top roll against him. Well, so, I mean, I, I the version of me right now would destroy the version of me from then. But I'm sure the version right. of Frank now would beat the Frank the version of Frank then too, right? So, uh -huh, uh -huh. and 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 Frank, uh, did you expect to beat him in 2008 when he came to the Super Mass 2008? Mi aspettavo, non mi aspettavo di, 
di Battle of Earth, perché comunque Michael Todd era già molto forte, però io ero in crescita, ero uno di, di quelli, ero un, un emergente in Italia e quindi eh, mi aspettavo comunque di avere, di giocarmela, eh, sperare di non fare un... Di perdere un 3 a 0 e eh, aver vinto i primi due tiri per me è stato, è stato un, un escalation, sono stato molto contento. Se poi anche ho perso 3 a 2, comunque perdere 3 a 2 con eh, un nome, un campione, un personaggio come Michael Todd eh, mi ha solo comunque mh, portato dei punti. Comunque mi ha solo. Mh, è stata una bella esperienza. Ecco, tutto qua. Adesso sarà, penso che sarà ancora più difficile eh, fare questa sfida. So he's saying that he wasn't expecting to win uh, because he was uh, still like uh, a newcomer in the Italian uh, arm wrestling scene. So uh, it was a great opportunity for him. He was super glad not to, to lose 3-0. And that was his main goal, let's say, because even uh, uh, just by winning the first round, he was like so happy because it wasn't against nobody, but it was against Michael Todd. So uh, to face such an established puller, such a great name. It was already a victory for him, um, both on like the personal uh, point of view and also as an arm wrestler, because it also boosted like his, his career as an arm wrestler. And also he's saying that this time, he, he think it will be more difficult. But I think for, he meant like for the experience. Who? For who? The match generally, or is it going to be difficult match for in general, him? Match difficult for him. È più difficile per me perché anche il mio tiro negli anni un po', un po è cambiato, però Michael Todd è diventato molto più forte rispetto a quando abbiamo tirato 15, 15 anni fa. Io sono cresciuto un po' meno. So, he thinks that he's the underdog because he thinks that yes, he improved and his uh, way of pulling changed a bit, but uh, he thinks that Michael Todd went from when he faced him to a good puller to an elite level. So, Michael established himself way more than he did. So Michael climbed way more from that match, in his opinion. So he feels like he's a heavy underdog because Michael is, like, very strong. Mm, Michael, do you think this guy is doing a mind trick right now, playing perception games by saying that like, he's heavily underdog? And this, Do you really think that in his head he believes in such right? I believe he's come to this match to beat me. That's what I think. Um, so yeah. we're both going to give it our best and may the best man win. So I, like I said, I, I, I'm very aware of how strong Frank is and yeah. what he did to Matt Mass was extremely impressive. Um, I just, like I said, I think we're both coming to this thing as prepared as we can be. We both want to want to win. And, uh, you know, and the cool thing about Frank is he's, he's a nice guy. I like him, you know, so, yeah. but I do need to get a little bit of that fire back that I've had in the past. So, I'm excited to get to get on stage and get a you know good international ready go. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, and Frank, what is the part that will be the most difficult for you to beat, uh, Michael? Eh, la parte più difficile sarà il suo solito blocco articolare che quando ci mette la è impossibile da, secondo me da tirare giù. Però eh, uno si prova e eh, c'è niente da fare. Sì, a quel... E poi eh, eh, penso che sia più veloce di quando abbiamo fatto la sfida 15 anni fa. Ha una partenza molto, molto veloce. E quello diciamo, potrebbe mettermi un po' in crisi, però poi là bisogna vedere alla partenza con il, con il go. So, in saying that two things... First one is, of course, Michael is known for his crazy good sticking point. So, uh, of course, the match will become way more difficult the closer to the pad that he gets. And mm -hmm. he doesn't know yet if he will be able to crack that angle as, time, as many times as he needs. And also that Michael is very fast and he thinks that he, become, he became way faster than when they faced the first time. And Michael also has a great press from the goal. So, he thinks that you need when you face Michael, not only to be aware of his defensive capabilities, yeah. but also of his crazy good offensive capabilities. If yeah. you focus only on this, you will get pressed down. Yeah, and the question is, has Michael ever, uh, sorry, has uh, Frank ever done shoulder press to finish his opponent? I think it's been pressed by someone who has No. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, 
And, and, and does he plan to do that this time? Voy a probar a fan, no, no pienso. No, Is it no? No pienso que tiene que ir. He's basically going for like top roll or nothing. What's that? Top roll or nothing. Okay. Okay. Bold, bold I, 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 if you are saying the truth, then, then my, 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 Michael, feel, uh, Michael is probably feeling more relaxed than uh, <laughs> 30 seconds ago. <laughs> Because hard to finish, hard to finish that. Even even Pushkar, Pushkar, rest in peace, had, had uh, such trouble, you know. Anyway, so mm -hmm. Michael, uh, do you agree with the statements that like, if you are only focused, if you're open and only focus on uh, on your sticking sticky point, you know, to finish, but if they ignore that that shoulder press. Which is like you time to time do you you seem like you're gonna go out but just suddenly you're going in? Do you agree with? The yeah, I mean, things? yeah, it's it's pretty obvious what I'm good at, right? So, um, and that's I mean, the biggest thing is in the past, if I can stop the match, I usually can win the match. Mm -hmm. In my recent performances, I didn't always win the long matches. You know, um, my wrists would get compromised or someone would turn my palm up some climb my fingers transition to press mm -hmm. i've been working on those things a lot i do still have access i probably have better access to my shoulder press now and i haven't than i have had in recent years due to the, the more range of motion right um yeah. i'm excited to test myself so that's it i mean i'm excited to test myself now do i want to try to win conventionally of course but if it means i have a full-blown king's move uh within the rules of course To win this match, mm -hmm. I'll do whatever I have to do to win, right? Um, no doubt, no yeah. doubt. Yeah. I'm, I'm taking, I'm taking Frank as serious as I have any match ever. Um, this, this comeback to me is very important, and uh, mm -hmm. I'm excited to be across the table from somebody who who poses such a threat because he is a very established top roller. And 115 kg, which recently was 117 kg, is a bigger uh, Frank Lamparelli than the one that pulled Matt Mask. I believe he's like 105 when he pulled. Uh, Matt, so this is a heavier, I, bigger I version. Was, was he not? I think he, I think he was heavier than 105 because oh, was same he? Because everybody's talking about him being upper class. I mean, he no, he he, he was he, 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 in, he, exactly the same. same oh, okay, well, okay, well. <laughs> I was Michael, wrong. In, in 2022, <laughs> what Michael pulled supers? Oh, Frank Super. pulled supers, yeah. Yeah, so Frank, yeah, Frank he, you remember? Yeah. You remember he and what's that? His matches back off is amazing. His match oh, yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. Uh, quick, uh, quick, quick note, note. Even when Frank pulls the the opens, he always weighed the same. He never went up. He never went up uh, over 115 in his life. This time, yeah, but one, 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 fifteen, one fifteen is already super. Because yeah, 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 but, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, I mean yeah. that he wasn't heavier than the last match. Yeah. Well, no, okay, cool. Yeah. There is a super. Maybe it's an illusion because he looked really big from here. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's older. He looks yeah. big. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't think I have ever listened. Sometimes people look bigger because of oh, muscle percentages more and fat percentages less. I I think uh, this is how I, I don't remember Frank looking like this before. Like what I see right now, I I don't remember like this. I don't know. Shoulders, everything he, he looks really big, you know. Right. There is right. A it, is, it is the camera. It is the camera. It's only camera, right? <laughs> only only yeah, yeah, yeah. him, right? Not you. <laughs> the camera just works for him. Okay, that's funny. Yeah. Okay, John Hutchison, super excited to watch Michael come back and compete. Let's go, monster. Yeah. Okay, so I I can't remember from my head. Frank, what is your rank at the East versus West uh, under 15 Nine. Probably. Nine. What's that? Nine. Nine. Okay. Okay. Ultimo de Union. The, the ultimo the He's saying uh, the, the last one. <laughs> <laughs> Now listen, we all start from somewhere and then go up, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh and my Michael, your your main goal is right now 115. Yeah, I mean that's that's the, well I can't I can't say it's my main goal. That's the two matches that I have accepted are at the 115. It's so much easier for me to be bigger. Like my body just naturally wants to weigh more. Um, uh, but, but short term, I mean, short term, one fifteen. Of course, like, of course. Yeah, like I mean, you want, my, to, you want to get title. 
for the 115 before Supers, right? My main goal is beating Frank. <laughs> That's my main goal. Ah, okay. <laughs> All that other stuff later, you know, I have, I have a plan. Okay. But unless I can beat Frank, yeah. Frank just said that you are lucky to have such a long bird because it will cover the elbow falls. <laughs> hey, whatever it takes, man. It's strategy. Strategy. <laughs> anyway, so... And and Michael, he said that he said that he, your sticking point and your shoulder pressure. Um, how about Frank? Just hand control. What, what yeah, I mean, Fr Frank applies a lot of leverage the way he arm wrestles. Like he gets a lot of just leverage off. He posts off his elbow. His knuckles stay high. His riser stays intact. He's got great pronation. His fingertips look strong. His hand, his containment looks good. Um, I do have a strategy of what I, I, I plan on doing. Um, it's just, am I strong enough to do it? So we'll see. Mm. Um, yeah. I remember like about 10 years ago, your riser was incredible when you pull push car first time, a little bit more right. than 10 years ago. Yeah. And you were just, yeah. and then later, did you have some kind of problem with the riser for a short time? Well, I had nerve damage in my hand, and yeah. uh, I lost a lot of my control. The things that made me me, kind of, I didn't have access to for a bit. Mm -hmm. I think I had, I mean, so when I had my elbow surgery, <clears throat> and when I had the bicep reattachment, they took a large percentage of bone outside the front to, to close this angle, right? Because it used to not come here, now it closes to here, right? So they mm -hmm. took a bunch mm -hmm. of bone out. Mm -hmm. They were going to go into the backside, um, but they ran out of time. Because he thought it was going to be two and a half hour surgery, it's four and a half hour surgery. But the one mm -hmm. thing he did get to was right here. He I had a, a compressed ulna nerve, and I hadn't felt these two fingers since 2007. So they decompressed the ulna nerve. Well, that compression on the ulna nerve is what caused this nerve damage in my hand that may, basically made this whole thumb muscle atrophy. So mm -hmm. it's starting to come back. So the hand feels strong, the pronation feels strong. Um, my riser so far hasn't hasn't really been been dropped in training or anything so far um not saying that it, it's not possible to to force mm -hmm. drop it feels like it's intact it feels like it's like i would you know obviously we don't have a time machine but i honestly god like my chances and <laughs> this may be crazy but i like my chances where i'm at right now today versus the guy that beat push car in 2012 hmm and I think sure. I'm. I think I'm. I think I'm close to that guy, you know. And I, that was a very strong version. I mean, it's a very confident version. And that's the thing. Um, you can be strong, but if you're not confident in your capabilities, I mean, sometimes you can't access all that power on the table because your mind's not there. And and I've been working a whole lot on getting. My, 2023 is a very rough year for me, um, especially. Uh, so a lot, the arm wrestling and tearing the bicep, that was just part of it. Obviously losing my mother was the hardest thing I ever went through in my life mm -hmm. and it took me a whole lot to try to get on the other side of that. So I've been, I've been working hard, both physically mm -hmm. and mentally. So, so wh where did you see the problem? If you saw any, when you pull against Paulo? Uh, my cup wasn't as strong as I, I wanted. I thought it was, I thought my cup would be stronger. Any improvement um, since that time to today? Yeah, yeah, quite a bit actually. I, I believe so. Um, mm -hmm. Now Artem came and trained with me, and he actually I I don't know how to set up in the straps really like what I'm supposed to do, and he did show me a couple of things that felt a lot better. So maybe I'll get a chance to to see if that works. You know, when I pull mm -hmm. when I pull Frank. You know, I have not done a whole lot of arm wrestling since Pablo. Mm -hmm. um, I've just been doing a lot of training. Like, and that's the biggest thing is you and I know how to arm wrestle. Frank knows mm -hmm. how to arm wrestle. We all know how to arm wrestle. It's, it's getting stronger in the areas to make you stronger at arm wrestling, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't necessarily need to arm wrestle to get better at arm wrestling. I just need to be stronger to execute the mm -hmm. techniques that I want to use, right? Yeah. But. And Frank, how is your shape right now? Like compared to the all other times, just say compared to the mat match, compared to the before Uh, io mi sento, mi sento bene, eh, mi sento bene, non ho dolori. E, mm, il, mio, il mio solito problema è che comunque riesco a allenarmi molto poco, sia per il, il problema con il lavoro, visto che lavoro mi sono sempre a bordo della nave, quindi quando arrivi a casa hai quell'ora quell ogni tanto che puoi. Io ho fatto 
Io ho fatto un po' di pesi a casa e a differenza che con Mask ho fatto tre volte tavolo, allenamento al tavolo, stavolta ho fatto circa sei allenamenti al tavolo, <ride> non so se saranno sufficienti con, con Mike, però è questo il tempo che io al momento riesco a dedicare al braccio di ferro, purtroppo eh, non è il mio lavoro e penso di essere un... Penso di essere un po' più forte di quando ho tirato con maschio, però non avendo più tirato con nessuno non posso, non, non riesco a avere un confronto reale. Però sicuramente non peggio. Sì, non peggio, no? Di sicuro, e rispetto no. al passato? Ah beh, sono la forma migliore, più che altro sono più tranquillo di testa, quindi non, una volta mi agitavo molto di più. So, allora, first of all, he's saying that his shape now, I start from the, the end, his shape now is either the best one or one of the best of his life. Because now, like Michael said, he has a lot more confidence, he's way more calm, way more, more calm, and he doesn't let like the, the the his nerves affect him his performance on the table. And um I, I think that is at least as good as when he faced Matt Mask, but it is difficult to say if he is better because he hasn't pulled with anyone strong enough to no, not but how he feels is not a problem, but how he feels great. Probably it is great. better. He doesn't yeah. have any pain if it's great. Uh, he said that when uh, he trained for Matt Mask, he did only three timetable, and this time for Michael, he did six timetable. But um, his problem is that he works on a ship, he has a very tight schedule, and uh, the time that he has to, to give to the sport is not as much as he wanted to be. So, mm -hmm. for example, he can train like maximum, maximum three times per week, but more often than not, it's a bit less than that. Because he's in the ship and he really can't train. He has maybe just one hour and he tries to train in that hour, but mm -hmm. not every not not everything goes like he wants. E poi quando, yeah. quando vedo lui che si allena ore e ore, dico, ma perché non posso anch'io? Però and non è... He's very envious of uh, when he see my when he sees Michael uh, training like a madman. He's very envious because he really wants uh, to push himself like Michael does, just like to feel really accomplished of giving everything to the sport but he can't so he giving his best with the time he has mm -hmm. I understand Quindi, you know, he's, he's always, always welcome to come over and train with me if he ever wants to come to America comunque per me è una è una è una vittoria perché eh, io mi alleno molto poco e quindi mm -hmm. anche se riuscissi comunque a vincere un tiro per me sarebbe però ovviamente certo, sì, so, sì, sì, he's sì. saying that of course he's coming to win but even winning just one round he, he will um, take that as a victory because he says that he trains so little that even one round for him is a huge victory because he says that if he really could train as much as he wanted it would be a different person e poi vincere cioè fare una sfida con eh, con Michael e comunque fare uno show dove anche se uno perde ma riesce a, a dare spettacolo cioè a, gio a giocare ogni tiro eh, con un nome come il suo e comunque ti porta solo che dei punti o comunque una, una bella cosa. He's also saying that uh, as you mentioned multiple times before hanging there is a huge difference between 3-0 and 3-0 because you can lose but if every mm -hmm. round is a war like super close it is different from like getting flashed so he says that uh, um the things that he looks forward the most is not like winning, losing. Of course, he wants to win, but like uh, he wants to give a spectacle. He wants to give a really tough match. He wants to be in the fight. And like for both of men, it, it will be a struggle. That yeah. the things that he wants the most. I, 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 I'm not going to have you know, any prediction at all, but I can give him guarantee that this match will be a war. <laughs> <laughs> Sì, sì. Yeah, yeah. This, this match is gonna be over because you have such a great hand control, and Michael has an incredible defense, and I don't think that neither of you will dominate each other. Anyway, so there is a. Importante è che io mi diverta perché se non mi diverto non è... io faccio il brasiliano perché mi diverto, quindi se non mi diverto non è non ti... non è giornata e e poi è difficile che io perda il sorriso quindi l'importante è non perdere il sorriso anche, anche se, se poi se potrebbe, se potrebbe essere una sconfitta comunque l'importante è non, non perdere mai il sorriso è saying that the, the most important thing is that to have fun because he does have wrestling only because it brings fun to him and that uh, he won't lose his smile 
and losing a smile for him it's very difficult but it is the only thing that cares about so having fun yeah by the way probably he didn't listen here or you didn't hear but michael said that uh, frank is always welcome to his home in us to train did i understand correctly michael or of course of course anytime Frank says perfectly because we are so close, we could be great sparring partners. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> be okay. fun times. Uh, don't, 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 don't be too lovely before the match. Anyway, <laughs> so <laughs> Armfella Super Chat. Thank you. I want to send good wives to good wives to the both of you. Michael, I admire you for everything you have done. You have gone through, sorry. And Frank, Tutti no T. Vogliamo bene. I don't know what that means. What does it mean? Oh, it means everyone loves you. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Fr Frank is a very likable guy. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. Anyways, so let's let's talk a little bit about the uh, event, guys. Um, generally, Michael, do you think that this may be the best East versus West, in your opinion, or one of the best. How do you see this one? Well, it's definitely one of the best, but we have probably the most anticipated match of all time with Devin and, and LaVon on the card. So that's exciting. And to be there and have a front row seat for that's exciting. But like I told you last time, when I was there just commentating, it's always fun just to be around my friends. You know, arm wrestling is just a big yeah. extended family to me. Yeah. So to get there and just to fellowship and hang out and, this opportunity to get to compete again is just it's exciting to me. So I think this is going to be an amazing card. I think it'll be the most watched card you've ever had, whether it's the best. I think it's definitely one of them, but I think it'll definitely be the most watched card. I think the most in-person watch card you'll ever have will be the one uh, in Orlando. I think that place is going to be packed. But yeah, this card yeah. coming up is going to be great. Yeah, or Orlando, uh, I think it will be a dream team. I think it will be it will be I, I like a U.S. team, not U.S. but North American team that we have never witnessed before. That that will be, I mean, I don't want to now all the uh, names you know mentioning, but uh, it will be incredible. Yeah, and let's start with Frank. Frank probably knows some of these guys better than Michael knows because some of them are very WAF type of guys, you know. Michael has competed WAF, but I think last time he competed, when was the last time he competed? 2008 or? 2009 in Italy. Italy. Yeah. Italy. Yeah, yeah. Only yeah. left arm, though. I only pulled left-handed there. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so let's start. Petro Marharint versus Nugo Cicadze. Uh Frank, you remember Nugo from the last Europeans? In, in, in Moldova. In Moldova. Yeah. When, when you had a very tough match with Reno Masic. He remembers Ooh, everyone. He said that he, he remembers them. And he thinks that Nugo will win. Nugo will win? Really? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Uh, yeah. But do you he remember Petro Marhari? Ah, perché comunque second, sì, secondo me si è preparato e potrebbe questa volta riuscire a vincere. Secondo me sì. E, poi, sai, lì conta molto, come dico sempre, è una questione di testa, la calma, la tranquillità. Secondo me potrebbe, potrebbe farci, potrebbe vincere. He's saying that uh, he looks very prepared and uh, it is also a mental thing, so maybe the man that wants it more will win. And of course, eh, ovviamente non sai Petro in, in no. che forma. Mm -hmm. And of course, he's saying that Petro is difficult to say in which exact shape it is. So maybe the one that is more like active at the moment can have a lead. Mm -hmm. but, but what if they both are in a best shape? E se fossero entrambi nella forma migliore di sempre. Petro che quando aveva fatto il Moldova eh, una, sarebbe dura da perché potrebbe essere vinta all'ultimo all'ultimo istante anche per falli, quindi quello è il discorso, sai, perché anche lì contano eh, eh, a volte vinci, arrivi lì a una guerra, arrivi a fare un 2 a 2 il terzo, magari lo vinci, sei stanco e uno lo vinci per, per falli. Quindi secondo me sarà una bella battaglia. It will be a war, but it's very difficult to say 
prime shape of this one, prime shape of that one, and also mm -hmm. he thinks that a lot, a lot can happen, like falls and stuff. So uh, it's it's difficult to say with those athletes who would mm -hmm. win like in prime shape. I understand, M Michael. Are you familiar with these guys? You haven't seen them at the East versus West, but do you know who I'm not. Petro Marharin is? Petro Marharin is that... the guy that in Moldova the beat all, all the guys. John. Yeah, John yeah. Revas and other guys as well, Sandris and other guys. Yeah, yeah, he looks very impressive. That's the guy you mentioned me pulling. So, um, I, I'm gonna go with him. <laughs> I have no idea, but, but he the looks other, really guy, other guy also top roll crushed him at the last Europeans, you know, in the strap, you know, yeah, yeah. But you said, I mean, this guy, the Petro guy, can pretty much force almost anybody in a hook. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, so, and the other guy I'm, we don't see being forced in, in hook. Yeah, that makes an interesting match then. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I, I would not honestly be able to make an opinion, but I'm going to go with Petro just because he looks strong in the Moldova event. That's what I got. Okay. Uh, Michael, you know Brandon Assessor very well. He has competed in your events. And I'm right. sure you also know who Stoyan Golemano is. Of course. Yeah, Stoyan Golemano is like same as Frank Lamparelli. To me, one of the best hand control, you know, top roller. Uh, so, how do you see this match? Because we don't see the Brandon Assessor of the lighter category now is huge. And right, yeah. How do you see this one? I, I'm always very impressed with how hard Brandon trains. Um, yes, he is just, he puts in he puts in the work for sure. Uh, Stoyan is like on the match where I beat Pushkar. And, 2012 he was pulling todd hutchins that day and he looked he gave todd all he could possibly handle so if he's anywhere near yeah. that form that's yeah. a that's a bad bad dude obviously i'm gonna i'm gonna go with brandon because he's a, a fellow united states guy but mm -hmm. i mean St stoyan if he comes in form i mean he's the more accomplished of the two athletes but i think brandon may be the hungrier of the two yeah you're right yeah by the way stoyan gave hell to todd hutchins but lost six zero as far as i remember yeah I thought I thought it was five one, but it might have been six zero. I was maybe remember. five one, maybe five one. Yeah, I you can't know remember. Yeah. Me neither. I, don't I only know that Tata Chings won, but it was he top rolled him, but he couldn't finish him. You know that that was yeah. the match. And how do you see? Do you know Brandon Assessor, uh, Frank? Yes, he knows. Yes, he knows everyone. Um, he knows everyone. Don't worry. Allora, penso yes. che mm, allora. Um, Si chiama il no, e il Golemanov. Golemanov, Gole, io ricordo Golemanov quando ha, ha tirato, ha battuto in un vendetta Edmir Feroku e lo ha battuto mm. perché è molto, è molto bravo a usare mm. la mano, ha una mano piccola Golemanov, però la sa usare comunque e sa, eh, <ride> ha quella malizia nelle, nelle partenze, quindi secondo me io do la vittoria a Golemanov, anche se eh, è, una, è vecchio come me, però io do la Do la vittoria a Goleman, perché è molto esperto nella partenza e sa usare tantissimo la mano, anche se è una mano piccola, però la sa usare e ti mette met in difficoltà anche quelli con le mani grandi come la mia. So you're saying that uh, he knows both of them and of course Brandon Assessor is younger and more angry, but um, Stoyan, even though he's as old as him, he joked about it, he said that he knows him very well because it had a six match, a super match against Edmir Faroku and mm -hmm. he won that match because he was very good with his hand placement, like a really top role master. And despite his hand being small, because he said that um, Stoyan's mm -hmm. hand is not that big, he's like super, super smart at how attacks you in every good position. And he says mm -hmm. that he, he was able to put in difficult even someone with a hand big as him. So he thinks that Stoyan will win because of uh, his not table IQ, but more experience and malice in the setup. So it will be like, it will take everything from Brandon in the setup and top for him like uh, with hand control. I mean, if it is referee's grip or something, it's very hard to take anything, you know, you know, because, yeah, because the but referee is going to... He didn't meant as cheating. He didn't, he did mean that like, like, like oh, Stoyan okay. is every time in like in the perfect position. And when he starts applying pressure, it is every time the pressure like in the points that matter, no wasted oh. pressure. Okay, I understand. Yeah, let's go. Betkili Oniani Talgat Aktev. Are you familiar with these guys, Michael? One more time, who was it? Betkili Oniani from Georgia. I don't know if you saw or not, you know, like maybe a month ago at the 
arm wrestling engine uh, uh, Facebook group, they put a match of Red Sardekian. You know the Armenian guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and oh, this guy the, beat him. No, they have like two minutes, three minutes. You know, long like many stars, fouls. You know, war. You know, what final? It was two thousand eighteen. What final? And Bert Kelly is um, that guy that was right here with uh, Russell Dekian. And his opponent is Talgat Aktev. That he, that oh, Talgat. I go with him. Yeah, he's a bad dude. That's who Talgat? I picked. Yeah, I love that guy. He's awesome. Okay. He's so explosive. Okay. Now, I don't yeah. know if he's going to win, but I love watching him arm wrestle. They pulled in 2017, but he was 75, you know, 165 only. And at that time, Bert Kelly won. Talgat lost. And he started yeah. quick, but Bet Kili has incredible endurance, and he won. But now they are 20 kilo, 44 pounds heavier than at that time. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah let's see. And I'm sure he knows them. Frank has pulled in the same WAF events. No, no, I don't think that... Talgat, Talgat. Talgat, I don't think that... One, because it's very fast. È velocissimo e dopo, anche se hanno 20 kg in più, secondo me entrambi, eh, io do la vittoria a Talgat. So you're saying that, uh, of course, in the past, Bet Kili... Una partenza molto veloce, c'è un convinto che vinca lui, anche un 3-1. Bet Kili won, but uh, this time he feels that Talgat Acte will be too much and it, he sees a 3-1 victory maybe for Talgat because of his speed. And despite both of them having gained 20 kilograms, he thinks that uh, the 20 kilograms that Talgat active made him stronger compared to Betkili. So he, he thinks that uh, Talgat will win due to his speed and massive speed. I understand. Okay. Let's go to the next one. We have Tobias Sporong versus Kamil Jablonski. Michael. I mean, <laughs> you got to be impressed. <laughs> look, at, look at Frank. <laughs> you got to be impressed with Kamil arm wrestling Cody Merritt and then two days later... Devin yeah. Laird and beating both of them. You know what I mean? That's crazy impressive. Yeah. yeah. Um, but Tobias Forong is an animal. Like what he just did to Wagner Wurlato was he it was horrible. So unless Camille can somehow I'm going with Tobias in a sweep, three zero. But Camille could shock me because I had no idea he's gonna be able to do what he did to to Cody and, and Devin. But I mean Tobias to me is a couple levels ahead of those two guys. Oh. On the oh, left you, mean, you, guys. Mean the, you mean the two guys that he beat? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't wow. I mean, I don't see how Cody or Devin st would stop Tobias's long lever explosive hit. I think it would just be the guy. What man, he's super impressive. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I know Vitaly beat him, but that kid and he's young too, right? Yeah. 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 I, don't I think know. I, I think like he's... Camille. Camille's okay, doing good with the social media. He's making funny. Camille's making funny posts on his social, so I like I like watching yeah, his yeah, social. Yeah. Oh, oh, whole but, family, whole family together. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, good having, stuff. Very good fun, you know. And I think they are. Yeah. Uh, I think doing good promotion, you know, good promotion. But yeah, well, where, who is winning here? I, I gotta go with Tobias. Okay, you think that he he needs to pull in the same way that he pulled against Wagner? The same. The same. I mean, they pull the same move. Wagner and Camille are doing the same thing, basically, right? Um, where, I mean, I think Wagner wants to have a little bit more risk control. Camille doesn't care. Yeah. And who knows? Camille's younger, so he might be better than Wagner. He, he might very well be better than Wagner, you know what I mean? But mm. I don't know how you get around Tobias. You know, it just his center of the table control just looks like you, I don't know how he's going to knock him out of center. And I think he's so fast, I don't think he's going to get a chance to. I think it could look very similar to the Matashenko camille right-handed match. Mm. Ok, And Frank? Allora, premetto che io ho sempre perso, partiamo dall'inizio, premetto che io ho sempre perso con Bortolato e, e anche se ho aumentato molto di chili negli ultimi anni, penso che eh, l'aumento di peso non gli abbia comunque portato un aumento di, in proporzione a un aumento di forza. Tobias lo ha battuto alla grande, e, però secondo me non è più il, non è il Bortolato che mi ricordo io veloce e tecnico e, e tra l'altro Bortolato ha una, una pressa secondo me diversa da quella Camille, Camille è un, è un camion, alla fine sta, è, un, è un camion emergente e, 
e niente, sono tutti due fortissimi. Eh, sarà dura lì per me è difficile dare un io punto su Camille eh, però sarà dura dura per Camille e dura per entrambi perché hanno il, il, Tobias riesce a, riesce a, to, a stoppare il press eh, Camille però è aumentato ancora di forza ha preso ha aumentato di chili ha aumentato di forza sarà, sarà dura è comunque uno dei match belli da, belli, belli da vedere So he says that first of all it is one of the match that is most interesting in and one of the closest one in his opinion and basically said that he won't be surprised if either of them win. At the same time he thinks that Camille maybe has a slight edge due to his strength and also because he pulls differently than Wagner and also he said that uh, he had a long history with Wagner and in the past he always lost to Wagner, Frank. Uh, but he thinks that uh, the weight gain that Wagner had in those years Didn't, didn't do him any favor. Basically, he gained a lot of weight, but he lost speed. He lost like technical ability. He, he thinks that the Wagner of today is not the fast, explosive and cunning uh, Wagner that he used to pull. So he thinks that, of course, uh, Tobias is very good at preventing a presser from entering the press. But at the same time, uh, that Wagner might not have been like the best representation of Wagner as a puller. And mm -hmm. he thinks that uh, Tobias is crazy strong, crazy fast, pulls the right way, but the press of Wagner, the press of Camille are different, and uh, that Camille might be just too strong. But of course, he said this multiple times, he thinks that either way they are close. He, he won't he be surprised. Take... Yeah, yeah he, 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 he's not expecting like a clear sweep. He said that yeah. Could go either way, but if he has like to toss a coin and say the name, it will be coming because yeah. he also yeah. gained weight, so maybe too strong. Okay, the, quickly, this triple chat Alexander Herschel. Uh, can you ask Frank about his gym training weight? Like, can he tell us quickly because we need to finish these predictions? The uh, dream training. Gym training weights, like the oh, weight yeah. that he is lifting. Yeah, maybe in, a, few, a few examples. Eh, faccio 100 kg in panca e faccio le, le, le alzate sopra la testa con 30 kg e i bicipiti con 30 kg sì. so he's saying that he does bench press with 100 kg he does like a shoulder press with 30 kg each hand and then he does like a hammer curl with 30 kg each hand full motion like this yeah perfect motion perfect, perfect motion. motion 30 kg yeah. Not okay. Crazy. Okay. Sandris Sheris versus Ibrahim Sago. Michael, do do you remember Ibrahim? Very impressive. Very impressive. Um. So here's what I think. I think Sanders is the more versatile arm wrestler. Mm -hmm. Correct. I think. What's the other guy's name again? Ibrahim. 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 I think he's a stronger presser. Mm -hmm. So if he gets his press in and Sanders presses with him, I think he'll beat Sanders. But what I think will probably happen is that guy might beat Sanders once or twice and Sanders will figure him out and then find a way to win three and two. Mm. Okay. Which way? Top row? Side way? Or whatever way whatever, lane, fight. whatever lane's available, but I would think it'd probably be some way, probably in the strap, top road, something. Okay. I don't know. I mean, but the other guy could win 3 0 too. Ibrahim. I can't say his name right. Ibrahim. Ibrahim is the same as the American name Abraham. You know, it's the same. Yeah, Ibrahim. The same, Ibrahim. same Ibrahim. the prophet's name. Yeah. 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 yeah he's, yeah. he's very impressive. I mean, he, he gave Todd Hutchins all Todd could handle, you know, very yeah. impressive guy. Yeah. Very, very good match it was, yeah. And Frank? Vai. Ma io penso che vinca Sandris. È molto abile anche le cinghie, oltre a essere molto versabile, versatile. Attualmente la versione giovane di Michael Todd si è già giunti la barba. <laughs> Comunque, sì, sì. No, no, però secondo me vince Sandris. <laughs> so, he said that, uh, first of all, Sandris is clearly the younger Michael Todd without the bell. So, <laughs> if we have to make him grow a beard, then it's uh, Michael Todd 2.0. And he thinks Sandris will win, like Michael said, because he's uh, more versatile and he has, like, a lot of different routes. And he, also in the strap, is 
very tactile, very smart. So he expects Sandwich to find a way to win. Okay, so you both are saying that Ibrahim is very strong, but since Sandwich can pull in different ways, he will figure out and find a way to win. This is what they are saying. Okay, I understand. Uh, let's go to the next one. Ooh, ooh. Very, very big match. Sasha versus Irakli. 95 kilo. Yeah, yeah, incredible match. I, 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 I really hope that I'm sure the majority of the community realizes the, the level. But th this, I don't think at 95 kilo, I don't think there is anything more than this two, you know, on the earth right now. Go yeah, ahead. I think, I think Irakli. You think Irakli? Yeah, I mean, Sasha is extremely impressive how well he beat John. It was just he's he's a stud. Um, but I think arakley has got his number. I think there's I think there's something to that pronation top roll speed. I, I just think he's going to be able to uh, expose. I think I, I think so. I don't think I think I don't think Sasha gets him turned in. Did you did you know that they pulled three years ago? I think I've seen something, but I don't remember who won. Yeah, four one Sasha. Uh, won, but it it was three years ago. Like was that the, was that at your event? Was that that my was event? That a, my event. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, what I thought. Time. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I probably picked. I probably picked Arakli then too. <laughs> so who knows? Yeah, he, he was close. But, I mean, the like, first round he won, and then uh, he was war, and then he gets out. You know, if the match is close, in my opinion, Sasha has better endurance, but we don't know if the match is gonna be close or Irakli is gonna dominate. We don't know that. Yeah. I think there's something to be said to be training with Levon. You know, I just think having that guy as your training partner pushes you harder than probably anyone else out there gets pushed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And but just to think about it: you're training with Levon, and Levon is mainly outside puller, but Irakli is losing his wrist to John, lost against Ongarbe, lost against Tariq, and all outside uh, pullers. Sometimes, right. yeah, he doesn't really. I don't know. I don't understand how it happens. But and Frank, sono entrambi molto forti. A me piacciono tutti e due. Poi hanno dei bicipiti grossi come la mia testa. È difficile perché non lo so. Sasha lo vedo più ha molta più resistenza. Secondo me, molta ha un po' più resistenza. E sarà una guerra. No? Anche qui no? la vedo difficile dare un. Ti direi un 3 a 2 per Iracli, però se ci penso con resistenza la darei a, a Sasha un 3 a 2. Sì. E, per me è difficile dare veramente la vittoria a uno di dentro, perché secondo me sarà veramente combattuta. So he said that um, both of them have biceps as big as he, he said. <laughs> and uh, it's very difficult for him to predict this match because uh, he starts and says like Iracli will win. Then he thinks about Sasha having a better endurance. And so he changed his mind and think, that, okay, Sasha with Andros maybe will win. Then he thinks about it again and changes his mind again. So it's like really on the razor sharp edge. Like he can yeah. go either way for him and it's impossible for him to predict like, oh, he will win because he sees a route for both of them to win the match. Iraq yeah. could just smash him, but at the same time, he could get tired out and maybe 3-2 uh, Sasha with Andros. Yeah. So yeah. The, the reason that he is saying this way because he's, experience, brain experience, and he can see the abilities of both athletes. But the, at the last point, the, the power, power says the last word. You, it's hard to measure the power that they will generate at that moment. So we don't know it yet. Even they don't know that. They will understand yeah. when they pull, you know. So it is not easy to really predict, yeah. Razor says, what about an official poll for the match of the day with a prize? Stay strong, guys. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, I think we should do that. Yeah. But if, if, if I put Devon in, in that poll, most likely he's going to win because he has the most most uh, pens. You know, whatever you put there, he's going to, I think he's going to uh, get the most votes. Uh, but who knows? Yeah, let's go. Uh, Leonidas, Arcona versus Schoolboy. Michael. Well, I just did a prediction video on my channel, and this was the first match I talked about. Um, Schoolboy, that right arm just looks insane. 
I mean, either they're photoshopping him or that right arm's really gotten big since he tore his left bicep, right? So, and pe- some people just still don't realize how big he is. I mean, he's six foot five, 270. He's a yeah. massive, yeah. massive dude. Yeah. Now, he's- Leonidas continues to impress me because um, I didn't expect him to beat Larry at the last game of the table. And so, I mean, I think Schoolboy has to be the favorite, but nothing surprises me nowadays. Um, but I would go with Schoolboy. I understand. Yeah. Did you know that, uh, you know that I think I saw you doing that training that Matushenko is doing. You remember? Yeah. yeah. Did yeah. you know that uh, Schoolboy came to visit uh, Matushenko? He did that wrist training more than Lalecin and more than Ivan Matushenko. Wow. Yeah. He said that those three, uh, Schoolboy was the strongest one. That's what he told me. Do you know what weight they're using? What, what are they using there? I, 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 don't I, wanna... I don't really know, but we can ask you, Iwan. But I yeah. can give you his, his WhatsApp number. You can ask if you want. But um, yeah. but uh, it's surprising that, that he is stronger than those, those guys, you know, yeah. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. He's, got a, he's got a very bright future. I mean, the, like I said, he is a very large human, and he seems to really love arm wrestling, so. Yeah, I agree, yeah. And Frank? Allora, mm, Schoolboy è molto forte, però Leonidas fino adesso ha sorpreso tutti e penso che ci sorprenderà ancora. Per quanto riguarda il discorso dell'esercizio, io non credo molto ai record degli fatti con gli esercizi con i macchinari e quant'altro, perché io sono, penso di essere la prova vivente che gli esercizi con me contano, contano poco, io faccio con i bicipiti meno della maggior parte delle donne il braccio di ferro e, e quindi non, non penso che valga molto quel discorso là, perché ad esempio io non ho mai allenato il polso, mai allenato il polso e l'ho, l'ho cominciato a fare gli esercizi per il polso prima di Matt Musk, quindi comunque non, eh, riguardo al, agli esercizi record non, non credo molto e non li faccio, però penso che ci stupirà stavolta, anche questa volta Leonidas. So, first thing that I want to personally add, because I remember the number, it was like 87 kg for Michael, he was Thank wondering you. about the number, yeah. and Frank says that, of course, th- those numbers are impressive, but he doesn't believe in number. He says that he lifts personally like half the number of the uh, women I'm wrestling. And um, he, he thinks that numbers do, don't translate as good as to the table as many people think. Yeah, yeah, for, example, for sure. And for example, he said that he personally never, never trained his, his wrist never. in his life, like never. It's like... Only at the table. Only at the yeah, competition at the or table. Train, table training. Yeah. Yeah, he never did. And uh, for the first time, for Matt Musk, he tried a bit and the numbers weren't that good. But he says that my numbers are not good, but then on the table, I have a very good hand control. So he thinks that there is a discrepancy between numbers and strength on the table. And also he says that Leonidas is like the man of surprise. Every match, every time they think he will lose and then he surprised everyone. He did it like, he did it one time, he did it two times, three times. So he thinks that this time as well, maybe Leonidas will surprise everyone. So he thinks Leonidas will win. Yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow, schoolboy and Leonidas will be my guest uh, in the, on this channel, and yeah, that that's interesting because at the beginning you also went to training uh, Larry Wheels, but after Larry Wheels just committed to arm wrestling more and more in US, we saw that like he gave trouble to sandris i heard that he is causing problems with derek smith and we saw even some table training with john i mean they, they, he was very strong but Le- leonidas was able to uh beat him with right arm as well leonidas right. is very di- different you know he, he comes to east versus west to watch and after the event he does some after pulls every time i saw him was he was better and better and better after pull And I see that he does. He still doesn't have the, the, the close angles, but his bicep in this angle is just incredible. Like if, if, if he really gets you there, it will be very, very hard to outlast him. I want to but, add that I remember very well what you are saying because I was there as well. And the first time in the after pool, he struggled with Mark Basil. And the time that the after the, the time that oh, sorry. The next time it was like with Zurab. So he went from like Mark Basil to Zurab in month. So he's really improving. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so let's go to the next round. Fia Rysek versus Ekaterina Nikisheva. Michael. Man, uh, both amazing arm wrestlers, right? Uh, I just have a hard time ever betting against Fia. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just, I mean, she's very disciplined, very determined. But I mean, both of them are, very, like I said, very, very accomplished arm wrestlers. Um, I just, and I'm not sure, but I think Fia just is more active and just, I don't know. I got to go with Fia. I understand. This match, I know the ladies wouldn't want me to say this, but this match may be a little personal as well, but I'm not going to go into that. Oh, first wow. Time, okay. Per, first time I, I offered this match to Fia, uh, Fia rejected. And then second time Fia accepted, and this time Ekaterina rejected. And the third time, finally, they both accepted. And But I'm not going to go into details, but... You know, that that is one of the, my opinion, looks very silent, but very intense, trust me. And when, when the women are intense, match, when, huh? when the women are intense, it may be sometimes more serious than men, you know. And I, I don't doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Frank, Frank, you have pulled in the same events with Pia and with Katarina. How do you see this match? Eh, penso che vincerà allora do le... diciamo do la vittoria a Fia primo perché è l'unica che mi ha dato che dice che vincerò contro Michael ed è l'unica al mondo quindi la sostengo anche per questa seconda cosa penso a parte gli scherzi che sia è molto in gamba e comunque lei non si è mai fermata così a lungo come la si chiama la, la Nikisheva e quindi Penso che sia molto più preparata Fia. So you say, saying that, first of all, uh, in every live uh, and in every poll, everyone is giving Michael Todd as winner and the only person that say that Frank will win was Fia. So Fia automatically <laughs> wins the match. <laughs> Frank is, Frank, just at the beginning, he said something like, Engin, as you always say, remember you translated, you know? And yeah. Then, I was like, Frank, does, do you speak English? You know, do you, it looks like he understands because, because he how understands. do you know I always say this? And the second of all, now he says that in every podcast, people say Michael Winning. looks like he is really following. <laughs> yeah, he says that he, he likes to follow every athlete. And, good, uh, good. Despite this, I, he thinks that Fia will win because he, she never stops, basically. He's way more, she's way more active than uh, Ekaterina. So with this type of matches, it always, uh, like the shape of Ekaterina might be a question mark. With Fia, we have seen perform every event. So it's difficult to doubt someone that never stopped. So it goes with Fia. Ah, come on, bullshit. We know the real reason he just told one minute ago. I'm just joking. <laughs> 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 and anyway, so uh, this is the the match of the goat. Who is gonna win? You think this time goat is gonna win? Greatest of all times, Michael. Who's who are we talking about? Mindagas Tarasaitis. Oh yeah 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 yeah. So yeah. um Arthur Makarov. I mean, but one second, yeah. one second, one second. You couldn't even r realize quickly when I said the goat. I, I you, you, you better <laughs> hope that Mindagos is not in the comment section. <laughs> I'm telling you, right? So, what Mindagos did to Daniel was remarkable. Did perfect you expect display. it? Did you expect? No, but it was a perfect no? display of arm wrestling. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Um, yeah. Spectacular. Now, Arthur is the guy that beat you. You know what I'm saying? And I've seen you beat Mendogas. So it's, I mean, obviously, Mendogas. Listen, listen. The sec him. second match, even Arthur doesn't think that he beat me. He says that I was pretty good beating him 5 0 if I didn't get injured. You know? There you yeah. go. Okay. <laughs> no, no, you know, you know about what happened with bicep. The first two, two rounds, it was a total of nine seconds. The same yeah. al guy, Alan Zola, in the same year, beat him. Two matches was like 130 seconds, more than two minutes. They pulled in Romania. Right. Uh, yeah, right. anyway, so. Yeah, I had to say sorry about it. Hey, that's okay. Um, <laughs> just out of sheer wanting to be the 
the guy, I think Mondagas will find a way to win. Like the, he's oh. just, he's just a specialist, right? Like very yes. cerebral. And, um, you know, he will take his losses to find that, to, to find that weakness, to find that angle, that, that lane that he can attack, you know? So yeah. I, I think it might be a four, three victory if it, you know, but, but I think Mondagas will win. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this this guy is very smart. I'm sure Arthur is generally sorry, sorry. strong. Only one second. Michael said more, four three. More, more, more horsepower. Yeah, What's that? Sorry. Uh Michael said four three, but uh, is not a title match if I'm not wrong. It, it, it is isn't... a title match because Mindagos is okay, okay, champion. Yeah, yeah, champion. Yeah. So it's four four. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, ah, dico la mia. Eh, visto che ha battuto Engine, eh, you know Macaron. <laughs> He's saying that since Makarov beat Engin, Makarov will win. Moto. <laughs> 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 uh, okay. No, no, per me è molto forte Makarov, quindi avendo visto anche gli incontri scorsi, io do vincente Makarov. He explained that um... Of course, he likes to joke, but uh, Frank, when he gives his prediction, he always thinks at the past history of the pullers. And like he stated before, he likes to know everyone. And he remembers their history and that in the past, Makarov always won against Mindaugas. So basically... Except one time, except one match. That in 2018, one round, uh, Mindaugas won in the final. And the rematch, uh, Arthur won, yeah. He, re yeah. he remembers that and he says that, uh, in his opinion, Makarov will win. Oh, okay. I mean, I, I can see if, if that match stops somewhere. I mean, stops in the way that uh, Mindago stops. Um, Mindago likes that it will be. Okay, this one I want quick, just percentage. Michael. Michael Todd versus Frank Lamparelli. <laughs> Come on, just... Tell me, no, no, no politics. I'll say you that from the beginning, Frank. Oh, if I win only one round, I will be the happiest guy. That is not what you believe. The bullshit. <laughs> you are not coming in Istanbul to lose, Frank. Come on, tell tell us what you really feel. Go ahead, Michael. <laughs> My honest prediction is: I think I'm a 65-35 favorite. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see for what Frank is saying. <laughs> Frank is the, I agree with him. <laughs> Frank says that he, he agrees with that prediction. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm canceling the match. Yeah, yeah. 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 let me cancel the flight. One second. If I can, who do you, who do you, who do you, uh, who do you want as a replacement, Michael? <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> But if I can defend this man, if I can break a spear in favor of Frank, he always says that he was going to lose. Even with Matt Mask, trust me, he was saying Matt Mask will break me. I just hope to don't to do not lose my arm. It is Frank. It's Frank. I, I will tell you something. It just means that he is also deceiving you. Okay, nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Um David Samusha versus Nurdalet Aidarhan, Michael. How can anyone bet against David? <laughs> I mean, like, is this is not. Do, do you remember Aydarhan? Do you remember Aydarhan from the last match? Oh my God. Yeah. That dude's amazing. Um, yeah. But, I mean, until someone beats Samushi, you got to go with Samushi, I think, right? He's, he's very. What do you think about him? Just beating all the best guys in 85 kilo. Um, seven I mean, matches, seven, seven wins, and now he's pulling the 80 kilo WAF champion. Uh, And you know this guy, Aydarhan, also beat Mindagos, and he was the lightweight champion. But he he cannot right. make the weight anymore, so we took the title away from him. So, right. yeah. Let's see. Okay. So you are saying that David is the favorite because he has been has beating be. everyone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it has to be. Frank? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stavo per scriverlo quasi una volta. Samusha win. So, he, was Samusha trying, win. he was trying to write on his hand Samusha. Samusha, and he's like, Samusha yeah. win. <laughs> he thinks Samusha why? win. Why, why, did, why, why did he want to write on his hand? 
<ride> no, volevo fare una, sorp una sorpresa, no? Because he wants to joke. <ride> What? He wants to joke. <ride> ah, ok, ok, ok. Hai, no, no, Samusha, 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 ok. È, è imbattibile nel suo peso. He said that at, at that weight, like Michael said, it's really difficult to, to, beat, uh, to beat Samusha. E se, e se prende 10-15 kg sarà un problema anche per gli altri. E se that if he, he ever gains weight, it, it will be a bad day for a lot of people. Ah, ok. And let's go. This one may be the opponent of Monster Michael Todd, the winner of this match. It is not 100%, but we will just talk and then we will decide. Georgi Svetko versus Alex Kurdecha. Alex Kurdecha said that he would beat you for sure if you beat Georgi, while Georgi said that it's the close match. You and him. Right. Yeah, so I would love that future match if I'm successful against Frank and against Lars. Uh, I like the idea of being in the super heavyweights again. But, and this is, I did this prediction on my channel earlier today, I released it. It is, uh, Alex to me is literally a giant. You know, he's he's a huge, massive individual who is really coming to his own, right? Like what he did against Morozov, mm -hmm. easily could have went either way. The right arm, you want to say with all the things and tools that Alex brings to the table that Alex is going to pull it off. But Svekov is just very, very tenacious and his pronation is ridiculous and his arm and hand is strong. I think Alex is way more versatile. Mm -hmm. But on my channel I predicted three to two Yorgi. That's what I think. So you are saying that he he will be your opponent in Orlando? Complete transparency, I think I would rather pull him than I would Alex. <laughs> I mean oh. um I like I like my I like the stylistic matchup against me and Spekoff more so than I do me and Alex. Now, if Alex wins and I am able to win my next two matches, then I will more than happily pull Alex. Um, yeah. But yeah. So it's just like I said, the only thing I'm thinking about right now is that, is, that is nice Frank, Italian Frank, fella Frank, right okay, there. Okay. That, yeah. that, yeah, that nice right, Italian right. fella. That's who I gotta get yeah, through. Right. Um yeah. but yeah, this uh This could be a very exciting match and two very, very large, very, very strong men. So, okay, Connolly family can't wait to see the new, new version of the monster at the table. Let's go, Michael. Four oh four zero. He says you are gonna win, but it is it's the best of five, so he can right. the best he can do is three three yeah. zero. Yeah, okay, thank you how for the support. See, Appreciate it. How do you see Frank this match? Penso che Giorgi è molto più resistente di, attualmente, penso io, di, di Kurdeka. Però Kurdeka riesce a cambiare il suo tiro, quindi non lo so. Io ho fatto, un, io ho fatto solo un tiro con Giorgi e dopo, dopo quel tiro io ero completamente finito, lui invece era fresco come una rosa, quindi penso vincerà per resistenza a Giorgi. Uh, when he pulled against Georgie after that match in WAF, he was completely dead, while Georgie was like still fresh and ended up like winning many more. So he thinks that yeah, he won uh, the gold. He won the gold. Yeah. yeah. He thinks that um, Georgie will win thanks to endurance. Of course, Alex showed like great adaptability and like uh, versatility on the table, changing not only topper but also like hook press. But he thinks that. Georgia endurance will be the key for the win of this match and yes uh, Georgia is the winner. Mm -hmm. So he says Ge Georgia is going to win because yeah, of his endurance. Okay, Michael I, I I watch your prediction video but I also still would like to ask you Alijan versus Hermes and can you tell us again sorry but Yeah, so the thing is um Alzon might be the best guy on the planet. <laughs> He is unbelievable uh, and all that. And that's what's crazy is he's unbelievable. But I still think somehow Armies is going to win three to two. <laughs> I just think he's going to. I think his post and his top row, his pronation is going to be like, I don't know. Like it, it could be three, two 
Hermes, it could be 3-0. I, I don't you know, it's just so hard to pick these matches when they're at that level. Alizon, what he did to Prudnik was something bizarre. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, it's, it's, uh, totally I, unexpected, right? Totally unexpected. Oh my God. I'm 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 sitting there watching that as a commentator and I'm like, what the hell is happening? You know? Uh, it was crazy. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And and uh, Michael, you said that three to Hermes. Do you think that Hermes has such endurance to win three two when he lost already two rounds to Ali Jan? So you you think that just he may be positioned and he may win, right? Yeah, I mean I think he'll be you know for him to win three two. Who knows? He maybe he wins three zero. I, I like I said I'm just just throwing out random shit. <laughs> Honestly, don't know. <laughs> But it uh, I think he you know I think it's gonna be hard to hook him. And I think Alizon would spend a lot of energy trying to get the hook, even if he was able to stretch him out to pin him. I think Hermes would be able to find a way to to bust that hand back and. He has the great transitional shoulder press. I mean, I don't know. I, I think Aramis is still. I think so. I think he's going to win. Let's see. Have you seen him with left arm shoulder press? <sighs> no, but I've seen him beat a lot of people left-handed. You know, I just yeah. I feel like you could if you can do it one hand and you have like if it becomes a necessity to win the match, you will find a way to do it with the other hand. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I, I kind of think it. I kind of think that people who has like wrist dominant. Uh, technique like Ali Jan, I'm not sure if they can resist once they lose their wrist because they're not so much used to uh, pulling. I, I, what I just said, if Hermes stops, he may not even need that that shoulder uh, transition. Yeah, pre- yeah, yeah. Maybe I don't know. We don't. We, we don't. Yeah. And and Frank, uh, Ali Jan, al momento potrebbe essere un figlio non riconosciuto da Superman, sinceramente, per le doti che ha. E... però come ho detto quando è uscita la sfida ho detto 50 e 50 perché vabbè, ho visto, ho visto le, um, come sono cresciuti entrambi negli ultimi 3-4 anni e... non so devo essere sincero tifo Hermes anche se do un 50 e 50 penso potrebbe vincere Hermes però è, è dura da decidere do... su questa mi fermo sul 50 e 50 So he says that on this one, it will stop at 50-50 because it's really hard to predict. Uh, it's used for Hermes, but he thinks that Alizan is like the secret son of Superman because the things that he's doing are like mind-blowing. So he thinks that mm, very hard to predict this match. He, he mm-hmm. sees the match going either way. So this yeah. is one thing, this is the other thing. And he really, yeah, he really can't decide in which direction the match will go. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I, I saw yesterday, today, Hermes, Hermes said, Engin, my left is in very good shape, not like my right, but much better than last time. This, this is what he wrote to me, now I'm reading. He said that his left arm is in very, very good shape. All I can say that It will not be easy as oh, some sorry, people Frank, are. Frank is saying that Hermes, is he speaking about legs or arms? Legs and arms? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he likes to joke all the time, yeah. He said his left arm, really, he says that his... I also... Uh, Alex Kurdecha and him, they, they train. Alex also told me that Hermes's left arm, they didn't say win, lose or something, only training, but Alex also said Hermes's left arm is in uh, very good shape. All I can say that I don't think that Alijan has ever pulled someone like Hermes, like that technical, that that like that top role specialty. You know, I don't think that Alijan has ever. So let's see how it will be. Okay, let's go to the main event, Michael. The last one, and we are finishing. Devon versus Levan. I I let you say whatever. Yeah, man. I I still I've said this. I don't know how many times. In the last ever since this match got announced, uh-huh. um, in my opinion, Levon has to beat him the way he beat him last time. Um, he has to beat Devin as convincingly as he did previously. If at any point the match stops and Devin gets that confidence that hey, he's strong enough to be in the match, uh, Devin's gonna end up winning. So I think it's gonna be 4 0 Levon, but 
I mean, the moment Devin wins one round, he wins everything after that. Hmm. So you today I saw your video. You said Levan is gonna win four zero. You said because if one round Devin wins, then that will be the there will be no more for Levan any win. It's what you said. Uh, I understand that, like that Levan has to win. But in your opinion, Levan is gonna dominate him four times because you said four zero. So and, I mean, it means that you you, you believe he's gonna dominate him four times. That's what I think. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I mean, it's hard, it's very difficult to. I mean, you can't discount Devin. Devin is amazing. What he's yeah. doing and what he's done the last two years has been nothing short of amazing. But I just don't know. I mean, I think he's going to go full blown Kings move round one. Like I did think you, he'll go all the way Kings move. Did you have a chance to watch my today's video? Probably you didn't, right? Uh. -uh. Yeah. In there, I said. Devon's career is like different before the pandemic and after the pandemic. I, I say like totally two different career. One is mostly limited to North America, and the other one is just super level international. You know, he started to pull in Levan and then Prudnik and then Sandris and then Gennady and then Dave Sheffy is North America. Hermes, Denis Siplenko, and then Georgie. Yeah. So what I'm just saying that, in my opinion, the experience that Devon gained in the last two years is at least, if not more, than what he has experienced in the other 25 years or 30 years. I'm not saying that he was not experienced. He was experienced, but it's a different type of experience. This is These guys that we are mentioning now, are all either world champions or whatever, you know, incredible level guys, you know. And this guy is pulling them one after another, one after another, one after another. So I'm just saying that he is right now. Do you believe that that stem cell, like, I, I have this kind of uh, theory, like not theory, but like when once you cannot use your supination, you all the time use your pronation. Here is not only injured, but it's also becoming weaker and weaker and weaker. You know, that this, this part, bottom part of your hand is responsible to block the arm while this side is putting pressure to the hand of your opponent, the uh, pronation side. So right. as you saw that, like, I was very surprised. I was in Dubai when I saw Devon against Dave Sheffy going directly to flop press. Like, I don't remember Devon doing that kind of thing. I mean, right from the start. I mean, I, I don't remember even when he was young, healthy, this and that. So what I'm just saying that he is now, he can who he's much more healthier than before. So, and then even just say in a hormonal level, he is not stronger than before, but just because he is now able to use the, all the muscle groups that he hasn't been able to, he hadn't been able to use, I think that it makes you stronger because you are getting so much support from those injured areas because they are not injured anymore. I don't know how you see this. Do you think that Devon is different Devon than two years ago? Without a doubt. Without any doubt. I mean, I've had a, a lot of stem cells since my injury as well, and I think it has helped me out tremendously. But seeing what Devin's done to himself to change and have, like, it's like he started over with, with a brand-new healthy arm. You know I mean? Like, everything, a healthy body, everything about him just seems like it's firing on all cylinders. I just think the probability that LeVon ready, go, can go straight to the pad is more likely than Devin stopping, stopping him. Yeah, okay, yeah. Now, I'm not saying, I mean, it, like I said, it, it, I wouldn't be surprised if Devin beats him. Hell, Devin might beat him 4-0. You know, he might stop in the first round. Yeah, it's all I about just, can you stop or not. That's all that's about that's, that's, yeah. Anyone who has a different opinion than that is is not followed arm wrestling. It's if he stops him, and it's not that he stops him, because LeVon can arm wrestle. LeVon's a very mm -hmm. experienced yeah. arm wrestler. yeah. And I said this in my video, there's still a part of Devin right now that doesn't know if he's strong enough to stop the match. He still doubts whether he can do it. But the moment yeah. it happens, that lack of confidence turns into extreme confidence and belief that I'm yeah. the man and I'm about, I'm about to show the world. And if that happens, we're in for something special. I'm just telling you, I believe that with a whole heart. If, if he stops him and that switch happens at that moment, we're going to see something different coming out of Devin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you you know Devon, 
probably uh, better than 99.90% of the people out there, you know. You have pulled against him three super matches. Am I correct? Yeah, we've had three right-handed super matches, but I've known yeah, him right, for right. a very long time, you know, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and Frank? Allora, diciamo che per me eh, Devon, allora, lui è fortissimo, però ha una gran dote. Lui riesce a vincere una parte del match eh, con il suo terrorismo psicologico, perché lui riesce a devastare una persona a livello mentale con, con quello che gli dice al tavolo. E già, questo si è visto sia con Giorgi che si è visto con, eh, con Hermes, perché comunque secondo me in quei match là sia Hermes che Giorgi erano, avevano le, le possibilità di vincere o comunque di eh, portare a casa più, più incontri, ma non è stata così perché lui riesce a devastarli eh, con il suo modo di fare, di parlare, di distrarre. E questa comunque è una dote, una, un qualcosa che eh, lui ha capito che funziona con molti avversari. Penso che questa cosa qua però non funzionerà con Leva e comunque Leva per me eh, è più forte e... Non dico che vinca 4 a 0, no, però vincerà sicuramente. Però se non vince 4 a 0, c'è come il match che va a lo stop e poi va avanti. Ma io comunque penso che potrebbe vincere un 3 a 1. E, e 4 al... Sì, al 4, sì, un 4, anche un, anche un 4 a 1. Sì. So, Frank saying that uh, Devon has a, a very... Um a very big ability of making people weaker, let's say, and going inside the head of his opponent. And he thinks that both Frank and Georgie didn't perform as best as they could because Devon is a master at mind games and like distracting them, not letting them express themselves at, at their best. But he thinks that this thing won't work on Levan and Levan is likely too strong for Devon to win. But strangely enough, Frank said that uh, He thinks that Levan will win, but not a clear sweep. So, not, not as dominant as the first time? Dice, non come la volta prima. No, not as not, not the same way. Yeah, but that, that, that part is interesting. I will quickly say, because Michael says, once the match stops, it's over. While you are saying maybe harder, then when you say harder, what is harder? Beh, There is no stop? There is no stop? Si è, fa, um, si è imparato dal, dal me, dall'ultimo match che ha vinto con Hermes e penso che abbia allenato anche la resistenza. Sì, eh, però se ti ha detto come fa a essere che Devon lo stoppi, cioè tutti dicono che Devon quando stoppa qualcuno vince lui. Ma secondo me non, non so se riuscirà a, a stopparlo, per me no, però... E allora come fai a dire che è più difficile ma senza stoppi? Beh, comunque eh, eh, entrambi si stancano, c'è niente da fare. Eh... So he's saying that Levan will get more tired, but he will have worked on his endurance after the Hermes match, but at the same time he doesn't think that uh, Devon is going to stop him, just that Levan will, uh, will feel him way more than the last time, and that Levan will win without a stop, but it will be way harder for him. Like, let's say that last time he flashed him like like this and this time it will still win but like it will feel that one I understand. More. yeah yeah and and uh, michael this is not like uh the, the auto strap the they will start without the strap do you think there is a possibility they want to win without letting they go to strap yes but so i'm gonna go ahead and uh elaborate on my my stock prediction Uh -huh. Devin stops the match with any type of crack in, in Levon's wrist. If he oh, stops okay. the match and Levon has control, oh. Levon can beat him. Yeah, I mean, if yeah. he has, if he, if the match stops and Levon has control, I, I don't think that Levin, uh, Devin wins from there. If Devin cracks Levon's wrist, Devin, if Levon hits full side pressure and his wrist goes back a little bit and Devin's full blown kings or whatever it takes, if that wrist gets compromised, That's when I believe Devin can win. If the match stops and Levon has control and Matt Devin just stops the match, I don't think Devin wins from there. I think Devin has to have a chink in the armor. He has to crack the wrist, in my opinion. Yeah, so you are saying that it it is it has to be on the outside stop. Yeah, I don't think he goes towards him. And he's saying, I mean, some people are saying that he's going to try to go towards him. I think that's the worst mistake you could possibly do. I mean, I I, I don't know. Maybe Devin can do it, but that's not what I right. think is going to happen. Franks as well says that there are different type of stops. And like Michael said, there is one type of stop like, like this and one 
like stopping someone like this. So to 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 stop and win, he needs like really a good stop, not like just a random stop like this. Michael, just say that Lewan went outside, and do you remember the way that Georgi put Devon, like the position yeah. that Devon lost a little bit risk, but he had right. the pronator, so he stopped him like this. What if they both don't have the wrist and they both go like, and Devon's Devin. wrist is like this bent, but he has the pronator? Yeah, so here's the deal. This is what this is my belief. Certain yeah. people who arm wrestle can arm wrestle without their hand and wrist. They they still have their pronation engaged. Mm -hmm. Devin Larry, Todd Hutchins, myself. Dominant arm wrestlers such as Levon and some of the other greats that we've seen, the moment they lose what they need to win and it goes back, they're not as confident. Where people like myself and Todd and Devin, we have supreme confidence because we've been there a million times, right? Mm -hmm. Probably not a million times, but we've been there a bunch of times. Yeah, so yeah. if the matches go there, you have one guy who is very uncomfortable in that position because he's not used to arm wrestling there. And you have someone who's extremely comfortable there because he's very used to arm wrestling there. So if the match ends up like that, I 100% think Devin's going to win. Okay. So what you are saying that as long as Devin maintains his pronator where the stop happens, then, then that, that, that is possibly he's going to win your thing. No possibly. I think if LeVon's like... wrist gets opened at all, if his wrist, if his knuckles go back past his wrist, mm -hmm. that is the so moment. De where Devin's Devin... wrist doesn't matter. Devin's wrist doesn't matter. As long as LeVon's wrist is bent, you are saying that that's Devin's going to win. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's what I believe. I mean, I've always believed if I was strong enough, like if I had the power to stop the match with LeVon and I stopped him that way, I think the same thing would happen to me. There'd be this crazy switch that I'd be willing to break everything I have to win that match. And I think Devin's going to be the same place. You know, because you're you're going against the strongest hand I believe we've ever seen in the sport. I think Levon has the strongest hand we've ever seen. So yeah. to win the match, you have to beat the strongest hand that's ever been here. So the yeah. moment you see that risk go back, your confidence is like, I'm in this shit. Like, and I think that's if that happens, that's where we see an entirely different Devin Laird than we've ever seen before. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. I don't know. We will see. We will see. It will be, like you said, that it's going to be a 4-0. And it means that in all four rounds, you believe that Lewan to finish the match, round one, round two, round three, round four, is more than 50%. That's why you are saying that. But the question is, what is Devon's chance to stop the match? It is less than 50% because you said that it's going to be 4-0. I think he's but, got a 35% chance of stopping the match, which is significant. Okay. That's yeah. significant. I mean, yeah. that's a huge, I mean, what we're saying here is at best, at best, Levon's a two to one favorite in my eyes. Okay. Okay. So you know, basically his chance is more than last time. Devin's without yeah. a doubt. <laughs> yeah, I gave him like okay, a 2% okay. yeah. yeah. chance last time. <laughs> you know oh, I don't remember. Okay. I, I probably did a prediction video. I have no idea what I said last time. But in my opinion, the 11, the, I mean, the Devin that exists today, we this is far better than the Devin that faced Levon last time. And and do you think that this is also the best Devin ever? In my opinion, Without a doubt. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I, can't even, yeah. I can't even see a close comparison, right? Like maybe yeah, the, yeah, the previous guy he was just when he poured Yorgi or Dennis or whatever. Yeah. But he, he's known this match was coming. He's had time to prepare for this match. He's given up everything. Like when Devin prepares for a match like this, he goes to a different place. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and everything he's done leading up to this was to prepare for this comeback. Like his entire, oh. after he lost to Levon, it was either go down to heavyweight and stay there, or go down to light heavyweight, or chase the supers. And he's done everything he could to get back to this match. So every match he's had has been a learning experience and a process to get back to this match. So, I mean, we're, we're going to find it out. Like, can well, that, know, can that... Yeah, go, go ahead. ahead. Now, can that mountain be toppled? I mean, can Devin... Sit atop, you know, the Everest. Can he be the can he be the, the very best at this sport? And if he can, it'll be spectacular. And even at that point, it's not like, well, how long can he stay there? Who cares? If he does this, and this this is gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna say some dumb shit right here. Because John Brzezink is the greatest arm wrestler of all time. Yeah. There's no arguments. He's the greatest no. arm wrestler of all time. His career yeah. is insane. Yeah. No, but if I don't Devin does this, yeah. If Devin does this. 
in my opinion, he can be the second. Well, he, I think he's the second already because of what he's done in this comeback. I think these last two or three years had solidified him as the second best because he's done things that even you and I both thought he couldn't do. Like, we had no idea he was going to do that to Hermes. You know, like, I had no, no idea that was going to happen, right? But if he can come back and beat LeVon, it will be the greatest single victory in the Ever. history of our sport, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. You are not saying anything about the goat, but the one thing that is hardest thing that has ever been done. I agree with that. I agree. Yeah. 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 And, okay, John Lewis, will Michael Todd face winner of Devon versus Levan? Not yet, my friends. Not yet. The, the, the Michael needs to do a good cleaning up there to get that, yes. that shot. Yeah. And, I'm, okay. I'm going to prove that I deserve that shot, right? Like, like I said, I've got some very formidable people in front of me right now, so I'm, I'm not looking past Frank at all. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, you are very thirsty to win at the East versus West. Yeah. Oh my God, I haven't won yet. That's crazy. There's <laughs> never been a league I haven't won at. Like, what's this a craziness? You know? Yeah, I but, got at but least the, a damn victory. All were very tough, tough matches. You know, very tough. You choose yeah. very hard matches. Anyway, so. Frank, is there anything you want to add? Sorry, Frank. I ask about this match more to Michael because Michael is like probably someone that knows Devon better than anyone else. But is there anything you would like to uh, add, my friend? Bah, spero che vinca um, Levan, soprattutto anche per dare un cambio. Altrimenti vince sempre l'altro, non è possibile. La cosa diventa noiosa, quindi. Bisogna che vinca Levan. Almeno così se lo ferma ha una motivazione per continuare a allenarsi, altrimenti se, vi, se batte Levan poi si ritira e, <laughs> e restiamo così senza il più forte al mondo. So he's saying that uh, Devon won everything last year and it has become pretty boring. So he really hopes for Levan to win because like, come on, we need some change and uh, that if Devon wins, He will quit to the sport because he has won everything. So he will no, lose. No, no. There, there is somebody. Again. There is somebody that motivation. often says. That, no, there is somebody often says. Open uh, yeah, that one. <laughs> you remember that one? Yeah. Open. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not the everything. There is another thing that he needs to take care. Of, you know? A meno che, a meno che Devon una volta vinto non faccia come Michael Jordan che wins against Levan and then goes like Michael Jordan did in baseball. Change baseball, ba basketball. <laughs> no, no. Michael Jordan was in basketball, and at one time he switched to baseball. Oh, okay. This was the, Oh, okay, okay. So you win, uh, you become like the greatest, and then you change sports because it's boring. That, that, does he think that if, if Devon wins that, he will be greatest or no? no he said uh, that John is like number one, but he agrees that uh, it will be like the greatest victory of the sport. Uh, in, in the single, yeah, I agree that 100%. Michael, Michael said Michael gave a great title. The, I think the best title I heard, you know, about this match. It will be the greatest victory, single victory that ever happened. I agree with it. I agree. Anyways, Michael. Thank you very much, my friend. You would like to say anything to before we finish or to the fans or anything, whatever, you know, yeah. Yeah, man, I really appreciate all the support I've gotten uh, through through my recovery um, with everything I've dealt with this past year. So it really means a lot to have the type of support and encouraging words people have sent me. I'm excited that uh, I get to face Frank. So it's been, you know, it's been 15 and a half years since we arm wrestled each other. So I think we're going to have a great match. Safe travels, everyone, and I guess I will see you guys in a couple of weeks. Yeah, it will be great to see you, Michael. And Frank, yes, you want to say anything finishing? Uh, no, before... sono, sono contentissimo eh, che ci sia questa sfida con Michael perché l'ho sempre stimato come persona, come atleta. Anche perché anche lui, comunque, come me, è uno che dà il sorriso facile. Che si nota meno con la barba, però lui comunque ride spesso come rido io, quindi è una persona solare e mi è sempre piaciuta. Quindi, eh, niente, faccio in bocca al lupo e per tutto, tutto quello che riguarda lo sport e, e la vita. So he's saying good everything to Michael in every, in every aspect of his life, in uh, the sport aspect, in personal life, good luck to everything. And he really, he is really grateful 
for this uh, opportunity because he likes Michael as an athlete, but also as a person. And he said that Michael smiles a lot like him, but due to the beard, the, the beard is not always uh, visible. So <laughs> he likes Michael because he smiles just as him and he's like a cheerful person. So he's really looking forward to his match and to face Michael once again. E un'altra cosa, se so che lui ci tiene molto la barba, però se vince lui deve tagliarci la barba. Se vince lui, se vince lui deve tagliarci la barba. Frank said that he knows that you really care about your beard, but if you win, you need to cut the beard. Oh, yeah, the, the Rebecca is saying no to that already. He won't let me, so I can never put the beard up. So yeah. it's but, but it's please notice that he didn't say that if I win, he said that if you win, <laughs> if you win. <laughs> I got that, I got that. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you very much. And you, everybody, there is only 18 days to the greatest arm wrestling event in the history and the greatest match by far, the biggest match by far. Uh, Levan Saginashvili versus. Devon Larat, as Michael described, you know, if Devon wins this, it is going to be the biggest, greatest single victory ever. And we will see. Just keep following us. And you all take care of yourself. Michael, thank you very much, my friend. Frank, thank you very much, my friend. Martino, thank you for the translation, my friend. And you all take care. See you in two weeks. Take care. Bye-bye.